In science and engineering, uh, images are everywhere. So for centuries, scientists have used imaging techniques uh, to gather information on the processes they study. And that is true across disciplines and across scales. So on one side, you have, uh, for instance, scientists want to observe very, very small structures like um, the organization of atoms in a protein. And then on the extreme other side, you have um, you know, researchers that want to observe very large objects like uh, stars or galaxies. And then in the middle, you have a, another range of imaging techniques. You have scientists that want to image materials to discover new properties. You have, for instance, people who want to observe some movements on the Earth uh, through a various range of uh, remote sensing techniques. And of course, you have uh, powerful uh, you know, techniques for medical imaging. Beyond its great impact, imaging is also very much a, a thriving and active field of research, and one for which interdisciplinary is very much key. Um, so most of the impactful developments that have happened recently uh, have happened at the boundary of what we call the golden trial of imaging. So you have instrumentalists uh, working on new uh, imaging devices, you have data scientists developing new algorithms and machine learning tools, and then you also have users um, who push the limit of, of imaging techniques through their new needs and, and new uh, desire of imaging objects. So the Imaging Centre at EPFL is important because it combines actually all the laboratories and all the researchers that have something to do with imaging. Turns out there are a lot more labs and there are a lot more researchers than we thought when we started this Imaging Centre. Almost two-thirds at EPFL of the labs have something to do in the big picture with imaging. So in that respect, EPFL is an ideal place for doing advanced imaging. So we have true scientific leaders in the field uh, who develop powerful instrumentation techniques, advanced algorithms, or both combined. We have a number also of centers and platforms on campus that provide access to cutting-edge and state-of-the-art imaging techniques for all EPFL researchers. The Imaging Center for me is also important is because I do algorithms and I can actually exchange now with colleagues who create the data I can use my algorithms on. And then of course I do hope an even just meeting and discussing with them, I get new ideas of what type of algorithm in the treatment of images I should develop and hopefully then help some of my colleagues with their imaging needs. The mission of the EPFL Center for Imaging is to capitalize on this exceptional concentration of academic strengths at EPFL and nurture advanced imaging on campus. So on the research side, we promote cross-fertilization between labs through a number of mechanisms. For instance, the distribution of collaborative imaging grants to PIs. Uh, the center also aims to address a number of very important challenges in imaging with regards to the exploding collection of imaging data. So in particular, we now have on the EPFL campus a team of imaging experts that is able to provide extensive support in image analysis and in image reconstruction to all EPFL researchers. They also aim to develop a number of solutions for common challenges in the field. For instance, they work toward developing tools that allow EPFL researchers to increase the visibility of their software to their peers.